Oh, hey, I just wanted to give you a quick little heads up before this video starts that we're not going to have a Baldur's Gate 3 video tomorrow, Saturday, or the day afterwards, Sunday. The reason for that is that we're starting a brand new series here on YouTube tomorrow morning. Be sure to tune into YouTube to see uh, what it is. But the timing of me recording a whole new series as well as this one, uh, I have to take a couple days off of recording Baldur's Gate. So... Uh, we'll be back with more ep with another episode on Monday. Uh, enjoy. Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. This is Marky Mark. These are the tadpoles. We're level seven now. Hello, welcome in. This is uh, episode sixty-one of our Baldur's Gate three playthrough. Blind playthrough. Just a reminder, please don't write any uh, information in the comments. Thank you. Uh, let's get out of here. We just. Basically, I think finished looting the Mason's Guild and found out some information about uh, Moonrise Towers. There's something in the prison dungeon, first off. Um, we discovered the last worshippers of Saluna in this town who uh, were sort of... Who, who made a last attempt against... Uh, Catherick Thor a last stand against Catherick Thorne by taking the fight to him. Um, yeah. So, uh, now we're probably going to go up this way towards the House of Healing. But along the way, there's a little kid, like, right here. Um, where are they? Right there. Arabella. Arabella is the one from the... That we saved from the, uh bad druid leader i'm 99 sure so i guess let's go up this way real quick see what happens over here tombstones love that what do the tombstones say here lies bronnie claro blacksmith of renown may he make iron sing in the afterlife that's that's dedication to your job that i just don't hold He lies Caleb Ellsworth, thrice married, thrice widowed, always smiling. I go down and around? Mom, dad? Okay. I feel like we're going to get a fight here. Look at these thorns. All these tombs. Arabella? Are your mom and dad gone? Hey! I know you! You're... Nope. Who was that? Who was that? Wow, oh, that was me? Wait a second. What's happening? I didn't think that was my clothing walking up. Did you just... Wait. That's Arabella, is it not? Looks like she's got some new weave up her sleeve. You a spellcaster now, Arabella? Was it actually Arabella? Sorry. It knocks the wind right out of me. Quite the powerful spell, but there's a great story behind you learning it. That druid idol I took? It changed me. I can do oh. all sorts of stuff now, not just the vines. I think real hard and say some loud words, and then it <laughs> happens. Mostly. Wow. God, I wish you weren't having to do this. I wish you were just being a kid. How old are you? Seven? I wish you were digging in the mud. Normally, tales of stolen artifacts or tragedies. I'm glad you bucked that trend. Tragedies? Them's the sad ones, right? <laughs> I hope not. Especially since Mom and Pops, after Zevlor, when he... Well, there was an ambush. Mom yelled, run! So Why are ran. your eyes green? I could hear him run behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me. I just know it. Aren't green eyes like you're being necromanced? Like, like raised from the dead? Why did that happen? I hope that was a bug. I will absolutely find your parents. Absolutely. Oh, thanks, mister. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Go to camp, please. Just till you find mom and pops. Yeah. 
I won't be any trouble, I swear it. I'd rather you be in camp than not. Oh, camp or Alfira? I think camp. Oh, thanks. You're the best. I think that's the so safer you option. Mom and Pop's there. I'll be waiting, hero man. Okay, <laughs> hero man. <laughs> Can I kill these shadows? I kind of want to. <laughs> hey, Carlac. Well, well. What do we have here? Initiative, it's fine. They can't do shit. Do I get to attack again? How many times have I attacked this turn? I feel like I've attacked 15 million times. Awesome. Fuck these shadows. You sense a swell of grief. Before the shadows took her, this woman mourned someone lost in battle. I can't believe Arabella casting that spell was such a shock to me. Here, Thorn Mausoleum, South Central Square. So this is the Thorn Mausoleum, and here is the Central Square. Well, let's go into the Central Should Square quickly, and then we'll go back. But, um,. Yeah, that was quite the surprise. Uh, Arabella casting spells. Hello. Oh, buddy. I mean, I'm level seven now. Let's fucking, let's fucking throw some elbows. Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. I feel like that's gotta be Thorn, right? <laughs> like, it's just gotta be the plaque there. One, two, three, four. I'm sure we could do it. Are those dead bodies? I think that's all dark just to see your armor. Okay. Uh, if I were being smart, which I tend I to not be, your desire. we can't short rest anymore. I've already used... I get one more of these now because I am now level seven. Um, but I already have all of my all right. level one oh, things. No. Oh, you know what I could do real quick? I can find Scratch. Hi, Scratch. How's it going? Can I speak with animals? Scratch? Can we chat? No? Alright, well. Uh, Scratch is my familiar. I saw that I could do that the other day, so I was like, I have to do that. Which, speaking of, we should probably make uh, <clears throat> Gale unprepare uh, find familiar, because we have a familiar now. So, what other level one spells uh, could we potentially grab um, magic missile it does never miss which I do really love sleep um, yeah let's just go ahead and do it prep prep magic missile it's force damage which is also nice that you can have that in the mix um Oh, I have the magic touch. So cool. Let's just I mean, I, I was sitting here thinking, is there something we could do before we start the fight that could be smart? Uh I could bless us all. Let's treat this fight as a fun way to test uh some of our higher level spell slots. Does banishment take uh concentration it does guardian of faith does not take concentration let's go ahead and cast less at a second level on all of us and then we're going to get ready to run it all right we're in oh there's a bunch of shadows too all right well big fight here 
Let's do uh, Guardian of Faith. Uh, let's do it. Smell blood. Uh, let's do our new rage, which uh, can also let us heal. Run over here. Um, is there anything I want to do before then? I could Bardic. Uh, could Bardic Carlac. We have 68 hit points now. Shit, I hit the wrong button. Uh, Bardic, I don't know what I want to do for my action. I guess I could cast a spell here. What's my fourth level spell slot? Um, Dimension Door. That's right. Um, cool. Uh, we'll figure that out later. I think for now, Carlac's just going to go hit somebody. <laughs> Ready for this. 14. Ooh, it's just delayed. I didn't miss. It's just delayed. Excellent. Not enough resources to hit over here. I call bullshit. Oh, I'm not hastened, hast uh, hastened yet. Okay, that explains it. Never mind. You're right. You're entirely right. Let's go. Uh, let's use some cool spells here. What if we were to, uh... Oh, I'm sort of so unhappy with Marcus's, uh, spell slots. I gotta figure out his spell slots better. Hope your soul is Cast Shatter. Uh... Still take a half, but let's just cutting words. Cool. Great turn for sure. Definitely a great turn. Definitely not just uh, sort of a wasted turn. It's fine. The thing is that bards are just hard during combat. They're so good out of combat. That what I, what I mean by a wasted turn. Let me see if I can talk about this while I figure while I uh, figure out what to do with the spell here. Um. The thing about bards during combat that I'm learning, and maybe other people play it differently. Let's conjure an elemental. That seems cool. Ice methods, mud methods, or an azer? I mean, let's catch, catch. Let's summon an azer. Because that seems cool. I don't know what one is. You're an azer. Okay. You are ripped. You look like a bronze statue copper statue uh permanently armed can't be disarmed ac of 20 i don't know how much damage you do but do i control you i do control you let's go the thing about bards is that as you've heard me say in combat i feel like with my 32 hp and my lack of hard-hitting incredible game-changing spells uh, mostly what I do is support, uh, and that means Spartics, and that means, um, now here's the question. A familiar can die and still come back, right? <laughs> I need to ask that question in a second. But I do think playing a bard outside of combat, the benefits are obvious and uh, and widespread. Like so much of our dialogue has been made much easier by Marcus being able to talk his way through things um, and being a jack of all trades, all that jazz. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna Google this because I don't remember. I always get it confused. Like our friend, the, the closet, I don't remember if that was a Familiar or not. What happens if a familiar dies? A familiar dies d and I'm not Googling Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. Familiars, you just resummon them every time you cast the spell. Which was what I was pretty sure, but I was... 
and, and I'm imagining that's how it works in the game. Can we even attack? We can. A bite for three to eight. Okay, sure. I can't actually do any damage, but sure. I just, if I killed Scratch, that would make me more sad than... Well, there we go. Maybe we won't bring Scratch into the battle anymore. Okay, now this is what I've been waiting for. Not Polymorph. Guardian of Faith. What if I run forward a little bit? What does it look like? This is an ally not controlled by me. The construct. It looks awesome. It looks so cool. Guardian of Faith. Entity enters your attack range. You can strike them. Permanently armed. Retaliation. Strike back at the next enemy that attacks you. Resistance to necrotic damage from Blessing of Saluna, not because of anything that it has. AC of 20, everything else is 10, 60 HP. Okay. Acer has, a, sorry, Acer has 39 HP, AC of 20. Uh, okay. Cool. So that's that. Um, I'm not going to heal anybody yet. I think I can leave this thing behind and it will still do stuff. Azer goes now. <clears throat> what does it have access to? Overheat, release a fraction of your inner fire. All nearby creatures take damage and start burning fiercely. Let's do that. Okay. You're all on fire. <laughs> I can searing smite. Uh, let's save Searing Smite for once we kill this one. How many attacks do you get? Just one? One attack. Cool. Guardian of Faith goes for 20 damage, which also takes away 20 damage from me. So the thing about Guardian, I should probably be paying attention to... We learned this last episode. Guardian of Faith, the thing with the spell is that anytime it does damage, it also takes the same amount of damage. So we should probably use it as a chess piece, as in like, it's a guardian of this area. If something enters that area, they take they will take damage, meaning they'll avoid entering the area, meaning you can control the battlefield. Because otherwise it's just an injection of 60 HP into a battle, which is helpful, but might not be helpful as my only fourth level spell slot. So that's a, that's a thought to have. Um. Oh, why didn't I cast haste? Because I was too busy casting the elemental thing. That's right. Okay. Um, cool. No well, it was a good turn. Come on, can't stay idle. I can't. I can't haste Carlac every turn. Um. So, let's see here. Look it's here. just mockery, I guess. Beating thee would soil my hands. All right, there's that turn. Shadow here. Take damage. I think it only took ten. Um. We are not currently concentrating. And I think after this turn, we are after this fight, we're gonna long rest. So let's go ahead and uh, haste or hasten Carlac, and then call it a turn. I do. I am a little bit confused because I think when the so one thing that happened that I think is interesting. Shadow succeeded on a saving throw against Strike of the Guardian. Shadow was hit for 20. Oh! 
This is where it's not as simple as 60 HP, which turns into 60 damage, because it does radiant damage. And we are fighting shadows who are vulnerable to radiant damage. Even though it saved, it did 20 damage and only took 10. So really, if it wouldn't have saved, it would have taken 40 damage, which is far too much. But so really, depending on who Guardian hits, it's a little bit more damage it's a, or a little bit less damage. Anyways, um, I, I love getting caught up in the weeds of this shit. Let's try a Searing Smite here because I think it would be fun. 3, 2, 7. That's 12 damage. Not great. <laughs> Not great. I can just bonus action do this. Why not? Another 8 damage. Sure. To focus. Uh, Shadow Hearts already got... Time to meet your maker. Concentration. We'll cast Sacred Flame to try and do some Radiant damage. I missed. Guardian of Faith hit the Shadow Cursed Harper for 20, meaning it only has 10 HP left. Uh, Marcus, you're so, so hilariously not very useful during this fight, but that's totally okay. Um, can I heal? Can't target a construct with a heal. There you go. I feel like we got to get Marcus some new spells. It's also just tough because it's it's bards. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I think at least the, the bard build that I've built, it's just like you're probably not going to get to do a lot of damage. And that's okay. Again, that's probably not my main purpose in life. Um, are you dead yet? No. Very close, though. Now you are. Let's go kill you. I don't even know if this one is even in initiative. Oh, it is. Okay. Hello. Is that my last attack? Yeah. The dice roll in my favor. Um, the dice roll in your favor. Funny you should mention. What happens if I cast Ice Knife here? I did do 11 damage to my, uh, my Azer by hitting it with that. That's mental fatigue. Is this from overheat? Or what is that from? I don't know. Step to it. There's just the one enemy left. Should be dead pretty soon. Uh... I wonder where I got my overheat from or my mental fatigue from. I probably got hit by somebody. Okay, that's your whole turn. Uh, Shadow Heart, why don't you just go ahead and cast Guiding Bolt? We're gonna end this in a second and then we're gonna get some sleep. My favorite thing to do in D&D is sleep. Guardian also does not appear to move, so it's really a chess piece on the board. Interesting. Time for some bloody work. <laughs> there goes the guiding bolt. For another round. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Mental fatigue is gone. Azer is still in the party. I wonder for how much longer. I mean, we'll rest, and that'll definitely get rid of it. <laughs> I've got a long road but, ahead. Uh, is that a click I heard? There's something I about these a clacks. Off, a, cl a click I heard. Gale lost condition Mistra's blessing. That's because we just got out of bless. Time to take a load off. There's something about these plaques. Our mist win 
storm. Failed a perception check. Okay. Which Somebody else want to come close? That's curious. What's curious about it? Hmm, let's see. We should sleep before we do this. Our Lady of something. The whole thing together is gonna be a is gonna be a putrefied tumor. Oh God. That the whole thing together is gonna be a a puzzle or something. But. Let's do some looting first. Uh, okay. Half plate armor. I don't know that that's going to be better on anyone. Rotten lemon. Okay, we have some shadow vestiges over here. You can hear the story of. You see a man drain his tankard in an inn as he listens to a flaming fist play the loot. He's better than his uniform might suggest. You catch a glimpse of the loot playing Flaming Fist. It's the catatonic man you encountered in Last Light Inn. Oh, shit. An older man turns his head away in shame. His neighbors would not renounce Saluna. Aw. Now they hang in the town square. Damn. The city is just fully ruined time to press ahead penance of loss loss pain so why did Gil just get open the way into the Sharon sanctuary apparently we just did something I think is a good Time to long rest. We're very low on uh, hit points, so and, and spell slots. So when we do this, first thing we should do is, uh, <clears throat> Marcus, what can we get you for spells? Uh, spells using. Okay, so you're different. You can only be replaced on level up. So, never mind. Never mind then. I can't do shit. Uh, which is fair. Oh my god, this Azer is still hanging out here. Uh, so, scratch is here, so that's good. Let's go ahead and throw it just once, just for fun. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. You can't bring it to me. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. <laughs> Good boy. Alright. Halston's over here. I do want to bring Halston with my party soon. Maybe now would be a good time, actually. Problem is, that would probably mean getting rid of Gale, and I just brought Gale in. Could be good though. Um, I really, really, you know what? Let's do it. Let's put Shadow Heart. No, we can't. We're about to go into the Sharn Sanctuary. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I love Shadow Heart. I have not taken her out of my party at all. Now seems like a great time. Let's tell Gail to go. Uh, What's on your mind? To stay at camp. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. So be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. I just, uh, I've fallen in love with the ability to potentially have so many different companions. Like, the, the amount that you can have is just incredible. Oakfather's blessings to you. I just saw that I have life drain. Oh, I think from the Wraith, which is probably affecting my max HP. I think that's what's going on. Okay. Allison, let's chat. Uh,
still feeling at home here with us? The surroundings are less bucolic, I understand. I'd rather the Shadow Curse didn't linger just beyond the campfire. But your company more than makes up for it. I swear. There's something in the water in Baldur's Gate. In, in, in Baldur's Gate. There's just everyone is raring to go all the time. Your company surely makes up for it. Um... How do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say, is such a funny way of saying things because the wild thing about nature in my mind is the wild diversity of it like nothing else in nature maybe there is nothing that is at all like it but also can it truly be so very alien is it a carbon-based life life form i don't know like, you know like it, it can't be 110 percent outside of our understanding right but that's not what he's saying so why do you want to go to moonrise towers those illithid creatures threaten the natural order there's also the Shadow okay. Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his dark justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Okay, so he fought Thorn before. Yeah, I like I I'm, I'm I'm cool with this with your explanation here. The other thing that is interesting to me is they're really going for these this the narrative of like the illithids are unnatural or like anti-natural is really the narrative that they're going for here. Halson is going for here. They threaten the natural order. Oh man. I'm intrigued by that, but I'm also like, I, uh, man, just a little bit ago, I was reading a super interesting thing, which was making the argument that the natural, like, it's different words, but that, like, the way humans often think about the climate and wilderness and the natural world is that there is this pure, untouched state, which is an ideal. And then there is, and and then any human interaction has, like, tainted it or like removed it or like messed with it. But that there's sort of like a hundred percent natural state, and that's the ideal that we're searching for, where everything is in harmony. But that like the real, the argument being made, it, which I found super interesting, is that like. The natural order of things in the natural world is chaos and change and like cycles of so it is constant change and, and cycles of things it's not saying like humans haven't drastically affected absolutely everything in the natural world because we absolutely have but it's saying like we're it's a little bit problematic to think of it as like a pure natural way of things or a natural order uh that would be <laughs> because the natural way of things is chaos. Is ca Anyways, I'm just talking now, but it's interesting. I also took a really, in I took a, I took an incredible class in college, uh, a high level English class on um, environment on environmental writing, and so I think uh, I'm I'm reading very very much into Halson's druid uh, ways and beliefs. We'll see. Seems like you feel responsible for this shadow curse somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the shadow curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. It is also funny to apply everything I just said to a world where 
the like there's literal shadow curses like that you could maybe make a houseland's argument in this in this world where everything's fucked uh do you know how the curse can be stopped this land is more than just soil and rock root and leaf it is a living being in the form of a young fae boy <gasps> with the forest itself in his eyes his name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations. But since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. Now that but is a... if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadowfell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once that is a twist i never saw coming the man at the last light inn is singing about thaniel the fey boy who is who holds the forest in his eyes who is this land itself i met the flaming fist curses left him insensible he's muttering about a boy named thaniel he is then i must see him Insensible or not, he knows something. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Oh, if I was gonna... Shit. I was gonna take you in my... Fuck. Alright, that's actually fair. That's fair. I deserve that. I should have talked to you a long time ago. <laughs> Alright, well, who wants to come in the party? Asterian? Been a long time since we've taken you. I thought maybe we'd take. We'll probably take Halston again, but. The untouchable Karlak is untouchable no more. I'd shake her hand, but she can still snap me in two, so, uh, uh, probably safest to skip it. Uh, probably safest. Oh, we have a new question. I never asked Are you Kazador's only spawn, or are there others? <laughs> Kazador? Sired seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family. Even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all but did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. That was super dramatic acting. I, lo I love it. And now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. Yeah, they took... Now someone else's scream is sweetest. I, dramatic, not in a bad way. Dramatic in a, like, drama theater way. Uh, I need you in my Darling, party. I thought you'd never ask. Lead oh, on. shut up. Just stand there and... Oh, we're gonna have to level you up a ton, aren't we? Yeah, our, our max HP is very much dropped right now. I understand. Okay. Uh, cool. Let's... Just in case... That's not the right person. Just in case we've, you know, hypothetically got her approval enough. Let's go talk to Carlac. <clears throat> Soldier. Not that I'm waiting or counting down or no. Okay, never mind. Let's go to sleep. Let's see how much his HP goes up to in the morning. Uh, we're at 32 right now. I wonder how much we got hit for with that life drain. <sighs> Hopefully, we've got at least like 45 HP, right? As a level seven person, 45 on the dot. Let's go. Still not a lot, but. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and level you up. And by that, I mean, don't show your helmet. Motherfucker. Um, also, all of our potions are with Gale, aren't they? Hmm. Oh, well. Go ahead and level you up. What level are you currently? Five? Four? You were five. Skills. Uh, 
I honestly think we could probably get rid of a couple skills here. I think we up perception. Deception, persuasion, I am doing those with uh, with uh, Marcus. So let's pick acrobatics and let's pick perception. Um, replace spell. You can get rid of charm person, magic missile, shield, or Tasha's. Get rid of Tasha's and add something else in. I don't know that it's going to be anything particularly interesting. Um, cool. Okay. Very easy spell. Upgrade for a rogue. Uh, now, what's the next one? Evasion. Your agility lets you dodge out of the way of certain spells. When a spell or effect would deal half damage on a successful deck saving throw, it deals no damage if you succeed, only half if you fail. Super cool. Level 1 spell slot and 2 level 2. It said 2, but I don't know if that's the case. Um... Kind of madness, mirror image, I think makes a ton of sense for you. I think we should mirror image immediately. Yeah, I think that's a great play. Change out. Um, Sure, we'll just keep that for now. All right, cool. Pretty easy level up. Uh, so, let's get out of here. Hmm. We probably want to go to in pretty damn soon but uh let's go ahead and read oh I, we figured it out i understand now <laughs> i was gonna say there's probably a fourth plaque right f loss let's our lady of loss uh Mistress of pain, when night falls, she shall, storm shall. Our Lady of Lost, Mistress of pain, when night falls, storm shall rise. Shit. All right. Is this really where I want to go right now? Fuck it. Shadow barrier right there. Lighter. Like the curse just evaporated. What is this place? Sharon Sanctuary. I am very much looking forward to seeing what the art looks like here. bit nervous we're gonna get like ambushed or something i don't think so this incredible statue nope i want it there we go statue of char that a heart how you feeling huh. so oh. that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their oh. stomach did you want something just to look at you uh a little bit more um no we're good Black. Do you accept Shah's test of your intellect? Oh, this is a puzzle. Um, 
nod and acceptance an untested mind is a dull mind it's a saving throw intelligence saving throw what am i to do what would shadowheart's uh intelligence be Shah's test of your intellect cleric of Shar. Plus one from Dark Justicier Helm on an intelligence saving throw, and we'd have advantage. Eric of Shar, you are Shar's child. There is no reason to shy away. Nod and acceptance. You feel a small pulse of energy race up your spine, Ooh. and a strange sensation of acceptance. Are these two waste. are these two different this is a door for sure better take a look this right here is a Do door you think yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing intelligence and wisdom bow your head modestly you are wise if Shah deems so ignorant if she deems so a warm swell rises through you acceptance you are worthy. The narrating here is really good. Is there one more, or is that? One more black. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the dark lady's cause? Turn any and all? I don't know. I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's going to turn, so... With Shara's words on your tongue and teachings in your heart, none can deny you. Confidence surges through you. You feel Fuck like there is nothing you can't win do. This. No one you can't win over. The statue seems to agree and approve. Lady, Lady Shara looking, uh, <clears throat> um, beautiful. Uh, okay. A Shar altar. What's on it? Ritual dagger of. That's a quick save immediately, so that we can load it again if we fuck something up in here. Oh god. Oh god. A dagger. A ritual dagger. Our Lady of Darkness. An what you gonna make to me do? Shah. It appears to seek prey and I a hate blood knives. offering. Your blood. It seeks prey with an A or prey with an E? Pick up the dagger, recite Shar's wisdom, and offer blood for your arm. I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to listen or watch. I don't like knives. Ooh. Oh. Potion of angelic reprieve. Elixir of necrotic resistance. Scroll of blight and revivify. Look on it again, see what happens. Can I take the dagger? Nobody. I really thought we were about to get away with that shit, huh? I really thought. Is it worth it? If it's not worth it, we just get rid of here, right? We just we just read we just undo it. <laughs> I don't even want the dagger. I ju I just thought maybe it would make a fun story for I'm undoing this. I'm undoing it. And here's why. Mostly because I don't want Shadowheart to have somehow fucked up her relationship to her god. Just because I was like, I'd love a dagger. Daggers? Love them. Big fan. It's not a good dagger. I don't want the dagger. I just wanted to see if I could take it. And I found out that I could. I fucked around. I found out. 
I regret it. We'll uh we'll just give the blood and uh and take the items and hopefully keep Shadowheart on good terms with her god. <laughs> That's the key. Once again, fucked around, found out. Oh lord. Need to keep going. What do we have here? Okay, we're gonna skip through this uh, cutscene so that we uh, alter to Shah. Don't have to watch it. Potion of angelic reprieve. Elixir of necrotic resistance. Might as well. Blight. Revivify. Actually, gonna send these two necrotic resistance and angelic reprieve to uh. You know what? Maybe I should keep potions. This is so backwards of me. Maybe I should keep potions on Shadowheart. Because she's the one person other than me who stays in my who stays in my party at all times. Almost almost all the time. Angelic Reprieve. Let's see what this does. I'm super interested. Drink to fall into a two-turn slumber. Unless interrupted, you gain the benefits of a short rest and regain all first and second level spell slots. If you're awoken before the duration expires, effects will not apply. Very interesting. Uh, cool. Can I look inside of this space? Nothing. Okay. Well, uh, this was pleasant. Get me out of here <laughs> before I get attacked by those guys. I don't have any interest in fighting them. Those sentinels with 109 HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a bunch of bonuses on uh on Shadowheart. Dark Ladies Hold up. How long does this last? Erudition has earned Shar's approval through an impressive display of wit. Plus five bonus to intelligence until finishing a long rest. Plus five to wisdom until finishing a long rest. Plus five to charisma until finishing a long rest. Damn. Yeah. Still breathing, despite everything. That's awesome. Okay. I should probably go back real quick uh, and talk with them about the uh, about Thaniel. But here is my first thought. I'd really like to find a fast travel beacon. There's one not that far away, but. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's the Mason's Guild. There's one right here, so it's pretty close. All right, let's go back to the last light in and talk to Daniel. We can explore more of Rythwind Town next time, but for now... Uh, for now, mm. actually, I have a million items to yeah, sell. See if there's anything you need. I don't know when the next blow might land. Thanks. I really do need to do some shopping, and I'm going to try and keep this quick, but here's my thought. Um, do you have any potions? Yes, I'll take all of them. Thank you. Um, I think I sold you a couple of these. Not those, though. Mighty Cloth. Interesting. Shade Clinger Armor. Um, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I sold a lot of these items. So what I was hoping to do here was currently it doesn't look like we actually need to feed Gale magic items anymore. So uh, I was kind of thinking we could uh, get rid of some of these items that we don't really use. Um, Kamira's locket I kind of like because it's just special. <laughs> uh, all right, really quickly. Sell items that I don't think I am likely to use. Sentient amulet is good. I actually should put that back on. It's a whole spell. I forgot about that. Uncovered mysteries I'm okay with getting rid of. Speak with the dead we want to keep. Bracers of Defense are interesting. 
Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. Sell this too. How much money am I making over here? I'm very rich. Okay, cool. Uh, that's good to know. Because the other thing I wanted to check was... Do you have any more potions of greater healing? Thank God. I will try and get some other potions for... Um... Oh, shit. That's plate armor that's 18 AC. Holy cow. Um... Shadowheart, buy scroll of planar binding immediately. How much does four of them cost? 2,500 is how much it cost. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, the other thing I was going to do is buy a couple of these uh, potions, if possible. Um, these are just dies, so never mind. I do have some things I can sell. Uh, which So I was planning on doing that. Okay, so over here. <laughs> Let's sell a million items and see if we can't get some money back. All right, we're being quick because I don't want to spend all day here. Um, So, coruscation ring, uh, real sparky sparks, well, I don't need. Currently, iron vine, I don't think I need. The cool item, but. Twist of fortune, I won't use. I don't believe. Unless, I don't know, can somebody wield it? I should probably take a look at that at some point. Claude, Helldusk, Armor. Um, can't wear heavy armor. <laughs> Battle Mage stuff, I can get rid of that. Uh, Susser, Greatsword. Hammer, Grim, Mist, Amulet, I can get rid of. Luminous Gloves. Uh... What did we determine that this is? Honestly, Luminous Gloves might be worth Shadowheart putting on right now. God, I have a lot of items that I really do not need right now. Okay. We're getting a little bit of our money back. Uh, which is good. Dominate person, scroll of telekinesis. I should really buy some of these incredible scrolls, but I got some heals. That was the important thing. That's what I needed. Uh, okay. Take cool. care now. So really quickly, I should probably organize my inventory a little bit more. So, um, a couple items we should send back to camp, I think, including... I have three broken moon lanterns now. Holy shit. And a couple of those back to camp, because I don't think I need three. Uh, we're saving some of these items just because they're cool for story reasons, like Kamira's locket. Send to camp. Arnished charm, I don't remember if I'm saving that for a reason. What gloves is uh, missile snaring? We should probably have you wear luminous gloves for now. I think we could keep this over here just in case, but let's try that out. Um, Asterion does have some really bad armor. <laughs> So I should probably get that figured out. 
Let's sort stuff over into uh, Asterion's inventory if we're not planning on using it. Um, Defender, Great Axe. Um, it's still not a great weapon, actually. For, uh, for Car it's fine, but it's not incredible for Carlac. Is there an item that would be better? Um, Rule Sting? Uh, no. Just a normal Great Axe plus one. Slightly worse on that, because it's a better... This Great Sword? Um, silence is a target on hit. So one less damage, but silence is a target on hit. That's actually a better deal for us. So let's go with that one for now. Uh, getting the chance to silence your enemies is incredible. Uh, I don't need the exterminator's axe. All right. Whew, sorry, I'm going to... Uh, try and hustle here because I know that this could take a while. 6 to 12 damage. I don't think I need Skybreaker. Hearing Smite. Not probably worth it. Light of Creation. 7 to 24. Chance to stun the wielder unless it is a construct. Well, shit. That seems awesome. Does the lightning damage happen every single time? Albert, extra reach, 7 to 24. Well, shit, we should probably use that, right? I don't know what overcharge means. Currently, it says 5 to 14, which makes me think we're not using this weapon very well. If my... It's 5 to 14, but... Sussur Great Sword was... 6 to 16. Can we use this Morning Star? We're adding plus 4 fire no matter what. Okay, I get it. The plus 4 fire comes from... You as a person. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. We're finding items to get rid of. <laughs> Maragon Halberd is worse. Uh, I, I'm dragging the same thing over there. Oops. Uh, hand axe I don't need. Okay. Um... I don't think we need that weapon either. Staver of Skulls does do radiant damage. Which is cool. I don't think I need more than one Dark just to see your mask. Um, I don't know why I'm even holding on to this. Uh... Send that to camp. Okay, our inventory is getting sorted. And sell that. Um... Start by type. Send the adamantine mace to camp. Grim skull helm. Grants resistance to fire damage. I think that's a great helmet, but we just don't have anyone to put it on right now. Uh, this blazer of benevolence, I just think is is worse. We can sell it. Dark justicier mail. We're keeping for some reason. I don't know. Put it over here with all this stuff. Ring of Mind Shielding where keeps. Spider Step we can just get rid of, I think. Um, plus two bonus to AC as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. We'll get rid of that one. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. We're getting there. Our inventory, slowly but surely. Getting cleared up. Um...
Okay. Yikes. Emerald ring I don't need. Your girl's greatsword I also don't believe I need. I've got plenty of uh, books I probably don't need either. If they aren't orange, I'm basically sending them back to camp. Uh, I think that is the cleanest my inventory has looked in a long time. Ignore Shadow Hearts. Okay. Whew. I think I could probably send Lump's uh, Warhorn back to camp too. This chain shirt is just random. Okay. Boo. One last thing. I sold a pair of boots to that chain. Sure, sure you did. Sure you did. Uh, anything I could take off your hands at no cost to myself? I don't remember. It was camp supplies last time, right? Nope, I failed. <laughs> She's like, you're rude. Sorry. If it costs me, it costs you. I like that. Okay, so all we're going to do here is try and sell everything here from Asterion. And in the process, potentially buy, do you have a good piece of light armor? Because uh, we are still using Act 1 leather armor plus one that's pretty bad. So while Obscured, the wearer has advantage on saving throws, stealth plus one, that seems awesome. I think that's a very real possibility. Um, anything else that would be light armor? Spider silk. Plus one bonus to stealth checks. Advantage on con saving throws. It costs how much money? Jesus Christ. And all it does is give you advantage on con saving throws, which is good, but not that good. We'll do this one, I guess. I don't know. It's still not great. Put your clothes on, buddy. All right. Take care now. Oh. La, la, la. Let's go back in. Uh, we're gonna go into this next room and uh, talk about uh, talk to. Um, Mom can be cranky and mean, but she looks after us. So shit, stock it's been up, an hour. all right? Because you need all the help you can get to bring her home. Uh. We're going to go talk to the sleeping person in the next episode because I did not plan up well enough ahead. Do you happen to have any potions? No, you don't. Okay. Pleasure doing business with you. I feel like I should always check my pockets after I talk to you to see if you uh, accidentally stole some stuff from me. Let's move. Uh, Father can all right, go. real quick. Let's talk to his majesty. Oh, shit. I forgot. I don't have Speak with Animals gone. Good to see you, too. Barkus, what about you? Do you have any... Uh, what now? You sell potions? I'm sure you would. You do sell potions. Hell fucking yeah. I want them. I want all of them, actually. You also sell a bunch of dyes, which is nice. But mostly what I want is the potions. My potions are bad. Ring of geniality. Interesting. Acrobats. Gloves of the automaton. All right. Um... If you're done rifling through my things. Sure. Is the brilliant what retort now? ready? No. And pestering the craftsman won't speed things up. On that note, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. In the next one, we'll head in and uh, and see what's going on over here. I'm sure Halston's over here. Yes. Oh.
Sorry, the inventory stuff can uh, make my brain fried, especially at 10 p.m. after I've recorded a bunch of episodes, a couple episodes in a row. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, a like or a positive comment uh, helps us out. You know that by now. You've listened to me say it 61 times. I'll just see you tomorrow. Until then, bye bye.